As more and more false flag propagandists jump aboard the anti-Trump train, I am continuously bombarded with a desire to wake up normies because far too many of these innocent people will realize the truth after they have already lost far too much. The recovery, however, will be something to see or something that isn't anything at all. Before our country is reduced to anything that resembles as such, we will keep exposing the traitors. We will continue to push forward, exposing the lies and doing all of it lawfully. It is the infiltrators who wish to push us beyond our limits. It is the infiltrators who wish to push those limits further, transforming the principles that we fight to keep into something else entirely. They are willing to transform things. The hostile left transforms language, goals, and they all com- and all common ground just to get their own agenda to succeed. It is only a matter of time before the sleeping masses join our side in this fight, and I can only hope that it isn't too late. My heart fills with anger when I think of my members of my family who will allow themselves to be swallowed up in the lies and be transformed into a tool for the globalist communism that is ahead. I have to, ch- we have to channel that anger and use it for good. Right. DBS. Yes, I agree. Ch- as a, as your fellow American <laughs> channel, the anger, channel, the anger, use it for good, use it for good. And that's what we do here. That's what we do here. We just try to be normal people uh, just kind of reacting to the uh, insane left. Anyway, do you find that funny at all, DBS? Do you find that funny yes. at all, Death by Saber? I would, <clears throat> yes, I, you know, the, I would like to, the spear of the pride person, there should be a, like a pink dildo on the, on the tip instead on the tip of the of it, spear. For sure. Yeah, if possible. It's too perfect. It's too perfect. <laughs> they make more sense. Like, oh, yeah. It trying would. To, trying to shove their uh, ways down our throat, you know? <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's, I think it's just, that's the funniest part is that we're just trying to dodge and just be, just be normal, be normies here. Hail, how's it going, everybody? How's it going? Uh, Sony Juan Kenobi. Yes. DBS is a political analyst. Now he's going to help me along and keep, keep the, keep the, keep the reality going. How's it going? Make Dow Smurf Daytona falls. Good to see all of you here. Uh, we're just going to do, this is going to be a short stream. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, trying to keep things going and keep things moving. Because, uh, you know, quite honestly, if you once you fall out of the funk of YouTube, once you're beaten down by the insane uh, left that continues to, you know, call it CIA tube, call it whatever you want to, they continuously will. I mean, they give me strike after strike after strike, which is why I lost momentum on everything. But we're going to continue to to work hard in and do our best to to uh, bring the truth back to, to you to CIA tube, even if we even if we have to uh, do it uh, standing up standing against uh, these uh, these assholes uh, and uh, everything. So, again, thanks for everybody for even joining and trying to join last over the weekend. I had se- severe uh, audio issues. They were trying to, to jump on last weekend. But this is what happened today, of course. We have, uh, you know, of course, <laughs> the, the all the matching, the, the matching cargo shorts or uh, pants, right? <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> And this is a great moment because uh, Nerd Mom, I love Nerd Mom on Twitter. She goes, she, you can't retweet a thing she ever says because she's such a, you can tell she's a badass and that she has fought and to, fought tooth and nail on this. But her response was, um, what was it? So obviously staged. And then I was like, yeah, the opening of the back was like the rolling up of the curtain. It is absolutely ludicrous wearing matching cargo shorts useless feds and so i mean that's that's the funny part about all of this is that they haven't even been able to change i don't know if anybody has been keep paying attention to this madness these are supposedly white supremacists who were going to attack they were going to attack a pride 
you know, a pride celebration or whatever. But of course, they were they got guns on them and everything. <laughs> and and oh, and by the way, if you notice, did you notice that this guy has an FBI labeled um uh uh uh, uh what do you? What do you call those? Uh, megaphone. He had, let's let's look closer right here. Check it out. It's, it's probably it's, purchased at the surplus. <laughs> well, no, it just shows. No, they just these are FBI feds. These are these are agents being arrested by. I mean, it's just it's all a show. It's all a show. It's, it's all staging. fake. Okay, I get it. Okay, it's, yeah, yeah. It's all fake. They're they're fake supposedly white supremacists who blah blah blah. And it's like anyone who were you know. If you if they're conservative, whatever they are, they wouldn't be doing this. They none of, the, you know, they they wouldn't be wearing masks. They wouldn't be jumping out of a U-Haul truck. They would be they would be riding they would be riding in their own truck or whatever. It's just it's just it's obviously staged. And let's just watch just to watch it again. It's fucking hilarious just watching them, you know, open this open this rig up. <laughs> and there they are. They're they're just like, eh. <laughs> oh fuck. And then, of course, you got the people who are filming it like, oh, look, the evil white supremacists who were going to attack our pride. Per-. It's like, it's just such, I mean, nobody believes this stuff. The only people who do are are just low, very low IQ people who need to believe this stuff is real, need to believe that this is, you know, this is what America is really up against. Right. This is the real threat that Biden illustrated so uh, so uh, so distinctly earlier, saying that the one thing that is, uh, you know, uh, threatening the, uh, the the country today is the white supremacy. So anyway, I'm just we're not going to dwell on any of this stuff. It's just it's just absolutely disgusting how our entire government is against, you know, they're they're against anything. Uh, of of conservative value, and they want to just attack everything and uh, just blame white people all the time, and that's all it's about. Anyway, but uh, that's what's going on these days. Um, let's see. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll see if there's a trial or something, but I, you know, if there's no trial, then it's super fake. Well, the, I mean, it's, well, none of them had. That's the funniest part about all this is that none of them, okay, none of them were armed. OK, so that's that's the one thing to to uh, take home from this is that they, none of them were armed. And I mean, there's tons of articles out there about this just showing. I mean, Gateway Pundit is making fun of the hell out of this. But I mean, this guy gets down again. Just let's zero in on it. OK, let's uh, let's we're going to look at this guy right here. He's got a no, it's going to be the next guy. It's going to be the next guy. He's got a and he's his megaphone is labeled FBI. You can hold your let's hold your uh hold your camera still hold your phone still where's the megaphone where's the megaphone there it is there's the <laughs> that's an fbi i mean someone else screenshotted it and showed it up close that it's an fbi i mean someone has a closer close uh shot of it it's an fbi megaphone i mean how dis- ridiculous can you get and they all wear have they all have matching um matching matching uh cargo pants it's just it's like oh trump supporters wear cargo pants <laughs> it's just <clears throat> it's just okay all right they, we'll you know the the there are matching clothes and stuff they just forgot to go to home depot and buy those uh, tiki torches that's all that's missing to complete their <laughs> that's, <list>. that's, <laughs> I love that uh, Confederate flag on the General <laughs> Lee car. All right, enough talk. It's time to take action. Garth, repeat the plan. The plan is simple. Repeat the plan, emphasizing the most illegal parts, speaking audibly, loud enough for, say, like a tiny microphone to hear, and also state your full name. Uh, okay. Uh, the plan is simple. We break <laughs> into the Capitol building, we infiltrate the government, and we kidnap the Speaker of the House. And this is Garth Henderson speaking. Excellent. You get that? We got everything we need. Everyone down the ground, FBI, you're on the ground. You're on the ground. Squad of heavily armed FBI agents are on their way right now. It's over. Oh, it's over, all right. It's over. <laughs> For all of you, double double cross. A lot of foolishness. I trusted you, and there. I trusted you. 
But the, the the funny part I just have to point out also is that like this, the cop mustache, right? The cop yeah. mustache and the cop glasses, like that's not exaggerated. Like there's plenty of that happening in these, you know, FBI, you know, busts that are happening that they're, you know, when, uh, you, when they go undercover, they wear yeah, it's big, us. big old porn mustache. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. The porn, yeah. It's gum. You're all scum. You'll never take. I mean, it's like, of course, that's over the top, but it's, it's a lot. We're the true patriots standing up. But they're making fun of the specific fact that there's like this guy in there somewhere. I can't find. I'm not going to look for him now. But there's a guy that has that you know mustache. For, it's just yeah. it's just obvious. It's so Same obvious. Stuff. Wait, just one. And Trump supporters are actually high IQ. Trump supporters are actually high IQ. So we can see this a mile away. It's all just. It's all a fucking fraud, and we can all see it a mile away. <laughs> I knew oh. that voice. Steve! Steve Crenshaw! <laughs> you got me. I was wondering why I hadn't seen you around the office lately. Yeah, I've been working undercover. <laughs> Is old Todd what's his nuts still roaming around the DC office? Unfortunately. You know what that cheese bag did? He ate my fettuccine right out of the Tupperware. He did not. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a mine, he said. <laughs> That's true, Todd. Where's your Tupperware full of cheese? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss that enough. guy. Oh, oh, all right. <sighs> Anyway, it goes. It goes. Anyway, it goes, <laughs> it goes on forever. Just the just the ridiculousness of all of this, and it's like for anyone to believe that this, that that stupid, uh, that this ridiculousness um, is not staged. If you don't, if you believe, you know that this is actually real. You, and I, I have. We have no help for you. We have nothing to to help you with here. Um, anyway, let's see what else. Uh, what the people are saying here. They tell the false. How's it going, Tommy? The Guinea Pig Collective. How's it going, sir? Thanks so much for stopping by. Good to see you uh, again. Just trying to get back into the swing of things and uh, get uh, get get moving. Get moving. Get the uh, Sentinel welcome. Good to see you, man. Good to see all you guys. We're gonna be. Everybody's doing... happy to see that you're back, dude. You know, it's uh, YouTube can't got me down for a while, but uh, you know, it's I, I can't. I, I just we just I love the truth so much, and I'm absolutely addicted to it. So. Um, so that's, you know, that's obvious. It's just going to, we're going to see m so many more of these. We're going to see so many more of these that the, that <laughs> cargo pants will be hard to find because we're going to have so many people, uh, so many new feds on the game, on the scene and cargo pants will be somehow installed as the next cool thing mm -hmm. because that's, yeah. that's, they're just obsessed with them. They have to have cargo pants. Apparently well, that is the most important thing. Like Walmart and Target, if we're going to release the <laughs> white supremacist line of Clean. It's supremacist line of cargo show, uh, cargo yes. pants. Um, but uh, this was uh, this is just another random thing we have to point out. This is uh, <laughs> so wild has went so far off the, the meter. This shit I can't even tell, tell, tell you on TV. I mean, you know, like, for the sake of our friendship, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not even gonna bring it up. But trust me, he's went there. He he he's went where it's like, yo, Rick, man, what the fuck is wrong with you? You don't take this shit too far. And his response is like this: Got no suspires, doctors. Let's go to your best. <laughs> I'm not with it, man. I don't want to go to the abyss, man. You know what I'm saying? Rick wants to go to the abyss. I like that you censored out the N-word. Rick James dwells in the abyss. Okay? I did. And he, and I he did. wants company. I censored the N-word. Sometimes. You know, and, and for some reason, he likes to reach out for me. Whenever I'm around, when he, when he wants to go there, he will reach out for me to try to take me to the abyss with him. And I'm not with it, man. I'm not with it. And that's when we end up, you know, tussling or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I made that meme a long time ago. Man, that's like a three-year-old meme, but I just had to show that off from back from the old channel, the Phoenix and Freedom channel. Anyway, guys. It, um, uh, it still holds up. So if anyone has, just real quick on the side, if anyone hasn't seen it, Amazon uh, has an Epics channel on Amazon Prime. There's a Billy the Kid series that is badass if anyone hasn't, if you're into wanting to get into a new Western mm -hmm. right now. I'm watching that show and it's just badass. It's way fun. Mm -hmm. MGTOW Smurf says, in Peru, they eat guinea pigs. It's called CUY. I'm not sure what that's. Uh... <laughs> you know, uh, my, uh, about two weeks ago, I was hanging out when I have some black coworkers. And one of my black coworkers dropped the N word, you know? And I, and I, tell them, I told them, you know what? I don't like that word. That's an ugly word. I prefer, instead of, you know, that word N, I prefer the word Nigerian. Can you just say Nigerian? <laughs> sure. From from the country Niger. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. That's I. You know. 
that's you know. uh that's where <laughs> that's where it originated from so <laughs> i would <laughs> i would much i would much prefer that myself absolutely yeah. um than the other than the other one um so in case anybody this is this is something i stumbled upon this happened today and so Google's AI is is sentient software engineer claims before being suspended. So, of course, what they what are they trying to do with so many things right now is is introduce uh, you know sympathy for AI. Of course, that's due to the hands to the transhumanism, of course, and wanted to sympathize with the robots, of course, which is why uh, I was doing a show just the other night with we were doing, recording a video with Nards, and he pointed out some amazing stuff about that. Is that the simple fact that Leia? I know this is just a total side thing, but Leia in the stupid, uh, horrible Obi Wan series, instead of having a pet animal, she has a pet droid, etc. So you have, you know, kids trying to be more, uh, more, uh, uh, you know, what's the word? Being, being more, uh, you know, uh, 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 sentimental to, you know, as, as opposed to like an animal, a pet animal being being more uh, sentimental towards a, a droid, uh, you know, a, a droid, and of course droids rights all these things that they're introducing into and into, into entertainment all over the place and some of it is in stranger things but we won't go into that today but uh suspended on just spend it today after sharing transcripts of a conversation with an artificial intelligence ai that he claimed to be sentient according to the to media reports um google might call this sharing property uh proprietary property I call it sharing a discussion that I had with one of my coworkers. So, uh, you know, and of course, everybody's just going against it. But this is just the introduction of this, of course, with all these other things that we've seen with them move. They're trying to move the 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 every single line that we've drawn in the sand. They're trying to move over and trying to push forward on. So um, uh, what else is that? So, uh, let's see. Um the AI known as LAMDA, Language Model for Dialogue Applications, is a system that develops chatbots, AI robots designed to chat with humans by scraping reams and reams of text from the internet and then using algorithms to answer questions. So, of course, uh, all of those things will become, uh, you know, much more important than people. They already are more, more important than people because you can make much more money off of that. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It's just uh, it's interesting and scary. It's just one of those things I had to point out. Just it's pointing. It's it's a it's a far reach thing, but it is something that they're they're going to introduce slowly, introduce slowly as they go to try to win people over and eventually get some people to yeah. have more sympathy for robots like we're in the Matrix or something. Right. I have received ads on uh, one of my uh, um, Google, you know, like uh, on my phone, like an app for lonely people like girlfriends but it's an ai and it's just re it's just uh, uh, uh um it talks to you it has a conversation with you you know but it's like man it must be like real pathetic if you're going to engage with this ai because like it asks you how you're feeling how you're doing and it's like oh i'm sorry to hear that you need a hug like stupid stuff like that like shh, man oh, i'm not gosh. with that yeah, it's uh, it. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's trans. It's 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 inside and doesn't right in line with the transhumanism yeah. and all of this stuff. So, um, let's see. I thought the the guys pointing guns at each other were fighting over who's banging whose sister. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. That's yeah, pretty funny. Um, but uh, anyway, I I haven't read this whole article yet, so I'm not sure the details of it. But I know a person when I talked to it, the engineer told Washington Post in an interview, it doesn't matter whether they have a brain or made of meat in their head. Of course not, because uh, if you have a response coming back to you. Yeah, I mean, pretty soon. I mean, how soon will it be until they can just have something that responds to you that sounds like it's something else? I mean, every time you, you know, if you're going to look at a website and you want to buy something, you know, there's going to be a chat bot in there that will, you know, adapt to whatever you have to say. And it's only a matter of how, I mean, how much, what, give that like 10 years before it, you know, it's auditory and sounds like a human voice and then just responds to you just like a, a person would, <laughs> but responds in the way that, that it wants you to, to get you to buy so that it replaces a salesperson altogether because it has the AI, it has the algorithm to bounce off and use words through Google to change that and multiply and to do whatever it can to get you to purchase the item. I mean, imagine that. I mean, the the, the, the the idea of a salesperson is gone completely because you have someone that's going to be talking. You you have an algorithm that's going to be talking into purchase on purchasing something. 
I mean, that's, or just doing whatever, talking you into doing anything, so to speak. That's just, I mean, that's just the, the way I, knowing sales and how that, all that stuff works. You can see that the sky's the limit on that. And they, they intend to take it to that, to the past that limit. I'm sure. Um, it doesn't, whether it doesn't matter whether they have a brain of made of meat in their head, or if they have a billion lines of code, I talk to them and I hear what they have to say. Um, our team, including eth ethicists and technologists, has reviewed Blake's concerns per AI principles and have informed him that the evidence does not support his claims. <laughs> well, of course. I mean, but like 10 years from now, they're going to be like, well, you're a bigot if you, you know, it's like you're you're a bigot if you don't believe that it's a real, you know, that it's a sentient being. I mean, that's the point is that I'm just, this is the beginning of something else. It's the same thing with climate change and all these other things. We're going to make you believe and we're going to tell you the lie enough times to make you believe it. Um of course, some of some in the border and the broader AI community are considering the long-term possibility of sentient, sentient or AI, but it does make sense to do so by anthropomorphizing today's controversial models, which are not sentient. Okay, anyway, it's just it's they're just yeah. they're, they're planting a seed. That's what this is. They're planting a seed to try to to win people over eventually. Anyway, yeah, that's panda power, panda power. I'm sure they could put Scarlett Johansson's voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a or Scott, just like that movie. I, I actually never watched that because I started to watch it and then it was just too depressing for me because I was like, uh, no, the Joaquin Phoenix, that's me. That's me talking to someone. That's me trying to talk to a, a, a sex bot. Um, TWTG says you get canceled because you call as call set or the call center want to speak to a person uh, <laughs> exactly. i'll set i'll set my settings to make it the voice of b arthur from golden girls <laughs> <laughs> no Dude, no no mrs garrett <laughs> with her big old boobies <laughs> dwtg has a great point here you guys just real quick so i i could see that 10 years from now someone on twitter going Oh yeah, look at this conversation I had with this bot and blah blah. And then everybody's like, "You bigot! How you? How so? How how come you feel this way? How could you, you know, judge this this AI, this a this sentient AI now? Right? You get canceled because you call. You're at a call center that wants to, and you want to speak to a person. It's it's just absolutely. I mean, I can see that happening. It's just it's just funny to see what's uh, you know on the horizon of what of what they eventually could uh, you know amass to. But anyway, beyond that, that's just it's just crazy. You just uh, go to the settings on your AI and say put it on canceled uh, damage control setting. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, okay. So let's see. I was going to pull up this other article that I wanted to share. This is uh, concerning the, um, by the way, if anyone, if you haven't seen it, I strongly recommend the analysis that Jay Dyer does for uh, Stranger Things. If you haven't seen the season of Stranger Things, it's by far the best season yet. Best season. And because they actually link a character that's beyond, I'm not going to, forgive me, I'm not going to spoil but uh, it's it there. There's so much more depth to the villain in the story, and of course, they're leading up to a, a main boss of the uh, of the uh, of the the upside down, and it's just uh, tremendous. Um, but his uh, analysis of it is brilliant. And he, Jay Dyer points out how uh, in detail how this show, the Stranger Things show, has has actually just become so incredible in the sense that it it outlines a lot of what we're, what went on with the MK Ultra and all that stuff too, as well. So that's something else that and of course what are, they, what are they trying to do they're trying to evolve people in mk ultra and of course by abusing people and all this craziness but it just goes to just show the level and so here we are we're seeing the feds you know uh, fake uh crimes fake crimes against humanity fake crimes against uh, the lgbtq etc and of course framing white people framing white people for the for their crimes and so they'll do anything they can to keep stay in power and uh, it's not working it's not working um, but uh, if, you, if you if anyone saw this season of Stranger Things, you should check out Jay Dyer's um, uh, response video to that. It's absolutely brilliant. He talks about the deepness of of the uh, MK Ultra and how that all was was involved. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat's all getting all messed up. But um, so real quick, side note on the boys. Just as uh, you've been watching the boys, right? Yes, I have. PBS, uh, and tell me what your thoughts are in this in these first few episodes. Did you enjoy them? Oh yes, I have. Uh, you know, episode two was—I mean, season two was great. 
and it left me wanting more. And then here we have season three, and it's it's fulfilling. It's it's uh, it's coming through nicely. It's it's everything that you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. It just keeps giving us more and more. It's great. Yeah, I, I'm I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Um, I I was I was glad to see uh, Huey kind of return to his roots and uh, get a little bit more pissed off and returning it to it, but having to realize what he has. So, um, but it's a great show and there, there is still a lot of leftists, probably one of the biggest standouts in the fir these first few episodes for me personally have been the simple fact that they, uh, they equate all white male, uh, uh men who actually care about the country, who care about these things with Homelander. I don't know if you saw this, but Homelander on his last uh, on his last uh, you know interview, he's like, "Well, the mainstream media and all this," and he does all the Alex Jones slash you know conservative white wing right wing uh, conservative anyone who cares about the country is just he he's repeating the same talking points. So they are trying to equate Homelander, which who is a murderous villain, with white people again. So that's <laughs> it is a really it's a side it's a side jab, and uh, just we it, it, these are things that need to be pointed out. I mean, I enjoy the series because it's a fun show. But oh my gosh, it's just ridiculous how they how they say that. So his uh, rating with white male from uh, ages thirty one to whatever fifty something went up, uh, or uh, on the show because because <laughs> supposedly he spoke his mind and uh, right, right. He's yeah, he, he dared speak his mind and and dared <laughs> dared say something about uh, you know the nation dared care about the country so if you care about the country you're an evil dude anyway so there's a lot there's just so much side stepping going on and even just stuff that's supposedly non-woke right you you call it non-woke but it's still everywhere you go it doesn't matter they're, they're still going to have these leftist propagandists insert the bullshit that they have to but, the, the, the theme park that the the frenchie and miko went to and you saw all the uh, different woke titles that they had for the rides and the, and the food. Did you see that? Wait, say it again. What part? What part they, was it? They went to um, uh, an amusement park, me, uh, Frenchie and Miko. Yes. yes. And um, there was a lot of like woke style uh, titles for the rides and, and the food and stuff, the, like the concession stands and stuff. Did you, did you notice that? Yes. That? Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, <clears throat> let's see. I should have pictures of it. it. Smooth Groove says Shattered Paradise breaks down breaks down Stranger Things as well too on YouTube. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll have to check out Shattered Paradise. I'm sure it's. I mean, there's a lot of people who. Uh, I mean, of course, I grew up in the '80s. I lived in the '80s. I was, you know, those kids' age in the '80s, and uh, you know, I remember them deeply. But I had no idea that MK Ultra and all these other things were going on, and so this whole X Men, you know, thing that plays into it, which is all so fun and and uh, you know, fun part of it. But uh, anyway, um, uh, so do you had. I, we're going to get into one more article, and then we're going to do one a uh, couple of things about. Uh, did you want to? You had some Johnny and Amber Heard videos, or you want to save those for next time? Yes, I have. Uh, yeah, I could share that now. Well, we'll have, they okay. uh, uh, some people, a lot of people are enjoying the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard stuff. All the the highlights of the funny stuff. Uh, you, okay, here's a uh, Jason Momoa. He 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 uh, pretty much. I haven't seen Treated this as a joke, you know, this trial, which it is. Yeah. For her, on the night, uh, hold on, on the night of May 5th, that was the night Amber got punched multiple times from Johnny Depp. Wait, I forgot to do something. What? I wanted to say, hi, right, Camille. What? <laughs> Stay focused. So on that night, you FaceTime Amber, and while you were talking, you also took a photo. Yeah. Why? Well, I was concerned for my friend. That's nice. Now, can you show the photo to the jury? Judge, can I? Yes, sir. All right. Wait, this is real? This isn't edited? All right. Uh, Just out of the way. Yeah, it's real. Oh, I forgot okay. that was here. Oh, man. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> ah, man. Who did that? Ah. Okay, can we please stay focused here? Yeah. <laughs> Pull up the photo. Okay. What the f here it is. Ta-da! 
Mr. Momoa, what is this? That's what Amber should have looked like, but the next day, she looked like this. Yeah, that's Jackmate, son. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Since it's 12.30, we don't, you want to just take lunch? All right, Camille. See you later. <laughs> Love you. Call me. More. You say you have a picture of <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Did he have to someone edit that in there? That is that is off the track. That's funny. That's funny shit. Yeah. Do you want to see when they uh, put Amber Heard's poop on the stand? <laughs> sure. Oh God, I okay. I'm sure. As, as long as it, it does it. it there's What's no... happening to me? All right, let me blow this up. All right, volume's up. Okay, here we go. Let me rewind this. I kept telling myself it's it's not my time. What's happening to me? The next thing I know, I'm a, I take a tumble and there I am on the bed sheets on Johnny's <laughs> side of the bed, where I should not be. I mean, I shouldn't be on either side of the bed. I shouldn't be on any bed. I look around to my surroundings and. All I could think was, why am I so dry? I'm sorry, could you? <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm Amber Heard Poo. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty that, funny. To me, for me, that's the best one. 